Hey guys, welcome to another Mac Apps Review video. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing an application out of the Macintosh App Store. The name of the application is I Procrastinate. It is a task management application, so it is supposed to, supposedly supposed to help you keep track of everything you're doing. Uh, my preference uh, in, in this field would definitely be Evernote because I love the interface and I love just the application itself and the way you can drag audio, pictures, video into it. It's just so easy to use and so well integrated with everything that I do using iCal, Google Calendar, that kind of deal. So uh, here's another one called I Procrastinate, like I was saying at the top there. Uh, I do not give it a, a high score for its original name. Everything in relation to the Mac system, iPhone, iPad, iTunes, iPod, everything is I. So obviously I Procrastinate doesn't get a score for uh, originality. But in any event, uh, I'm going to review it, and uh, we're going to see what, what you know what it's all about. So I've messed around with it, and I've done a few things uh, over the past 30 to 45 minutes to kind of see what it's all about. Uh, it's a very simple and easy and intuitive user interface. Um, it's definitely not a application that's going to jump off the screen. Uh, it's definitely not one of the applications that you're going to look at and just be like, man, they spent a lot of time designing this user interface because that's not it at all. Um, it, it, again, it does its job, and, and that may be the extent of it. So let's go ahead and go into uh, a few things here. So over here on the left, you have a few things. Y you have something up here that says due today. This is a group. Uh, so due today, upcoming, and starred. So that's pretty self-explanatory. If something is due uh, on, on, on that day, it's going to show up here as due today. Uh, if one's coming up in the next uh, three to five days, it will show up in the upcoming uh, group. And then if you starred one for a particular reason, whether or not it's because you need to remember it or it needs to be something that's uh, fresh on your mind, you can also star uh, items as well. Now the next uh, section down here is uh, subjects. Uh, this allows you to go in and, and, and kind of segregate your things here. It lets you itemize them. So you have one for school here, and then you have one for work, and these are just examples that I thought off at the top of my head. Uh, and then you're going to add another one, and let's say you work at a local church. Let's go ahead uh, and put church there, uh, and, and you may have some stuff that you do for the church. Let's save there. That's how you would add another one. You would go to add down here where the plus um, sign is. Uh, you'd click that, type in a name for the subject, and then hit save. So I'm not going to do another one. Uh, actually, I did do another one, so if you want to delete it, you just go down here to the minus symbol, hit minus. It'll ask you if you want to delete that subject, and of course, I will say yes. Uh, I want to change the, the color of this subject because I already have a blue one, so double-click that. And all you have to do to do that is go to color, select down here, and let's make it orange. Uh, X out of that, hit save. Now everything under the church subject will be orange. So, here we go. Under the subject work, I have two tasks. Uh, get data uh, to John for a project, and the other one I didn't even title. Uh, it's a new task. So let's go in here and label this task. When you double-click on a task here, it'll ask you to edit the task details. Uh, the name of the task. Um, get rosters over to Sam ASAP. Okay, so this is just you saying you need to get this done by the end of the day. Uh, a task note. Uh, do you need to put down Sam's number? You can do that, whatever it may be. How high is the priority? Is it medium or high? Uh, is the status? Is it in progress, not even started or complete? Uh, and I will explain that uh, here in a few seconds. Uh, and the subject is work. So you can actually go in here once you're in the task detail uh, section and, and decide which subject it'll go under. Uh, and then it'll allow you to say a due date. So let's say that's done, need to be done by Monday. I'm going to click on the 7th. I'm going to make sure I got everything there. It does not repeat. If you need it to repeat every Monday, such as payroll, something like that, you can have it repeat every single Monday, uh, daily, weekly, monthly, yearly. But I'm not going to do any of that. So I'm going to deselect that and hit save. So there we go. It says get rosters over to Sam ASAP the day after tomorrow. Uh, now, a really neat tool in this feature is it syncs with iCal. Uh, me, I use iCal a lot, which is the native calendar application for the Mac system. Uh, so that's you know kind of what we're looking at. Uh, if you look here, there's a one and then a one that circled that is orange. Now, what that tells me is the one that circled orange is something that needs to be done today due today. You can see up here, get data to John for project. That's orange. That needs to be done today. Now, the one that is white over here, that's telling me that I have something coming up, but it is not necessarily due today. Uh, so let's say I want to go ahead and remember, man, I have to get that stuff over to John for that project. I want to star that item. All I have to do is click on the star. It'll show up and start. To me, that's a little over doing it. But again, if you need to do it, you can do that. So I'm going to go ahead and unstar that now. 
Um, again, if you need to add a task, just like if you want to add a subject, hit the, the plus button here and you can edit and add a task there, but I'm going to go ahead and cancel off there. Um, so let's go ahead and see what we have here. Uh, this side over here is a step. This is kind of just a daily task list here if you got something you want to do, uh, if there's a step uh, involved in a certain task. So if there's a task that involves two or three steps, you can go over here, add a task, add a task, add a task, and it'll say, look, I'm two, uh, got two steps out of three steps involved to get this task done. So overall, I'm going to qu quit rambling uh, about this application. Uh, in a five-star scale, I give it about a three and a half. Uh, it does its job. Uh, the UI is not that great. And one thing that I did want to show you was uh, the option to go over to calendar view. You can look here, uh, Saturday, here's the tasks that you know need to be done on Saturday. Here's the ones that need to be done on Monday. So calendar view, again, not too uh, appealing aesthetically, but it does the job. So uh, that is the task management application on the Mac App Store. I procrastinate. Guys, I'm always looking for apps to review. If you have one that you would like for me to, please send it to me through a uh, video review or a uh, comment down below. Uh, until next time, see ya.